and welcome to a new vlog. If you're new to the channel, I'm Sarah and the other half of Dulce Disney is Jeff. And right now we are in Juneau. So this is going to be our second port stop um, on our Alaska Disney cruise. So it's a seven night Disney cruise. Um, in Juneau today, we have the excursion probably I'm most excited for. So we are going to be doing a helicopter ride up to some dog sledding. Uh, so we cannot wait to share that. And then we'll have some fun on the ship later tonight as well. Uh, we can't wait to share it all with you guys and it's time for another adventure. When we woke up, we went up to the top decks just to get a view and it was beautiful. We were already pulling into Juneau at around 5.45 a.m. This port is going to be one of the earlier ports of call where guests can get off, I think starting around 6.45, 7 in the morning. So that part is really nice. We can have a full day in Juneau, which we're looking forward to. First up, we went and grabbed some breakfast at Cabana's. Cabana's, again, is just going to be really convenient. It's typically going to be the first breakfast location to open up in the morning and because it's buffet style there's something for everyone so they have everything again from like mickey waffles to hash browns to donuts to eggs so again a really really big variety of those we just grabbed a table the tables are both indoor and outdoor so we are just going to sit here and enjoy our breakfast after breakfast, we're going to go down to our room, get ready, and our tour does start pretty early, so we plan to get off the ship around 7.45. When you get off the ship, you're going to have to take a shuttle. The shuttle is going to be free, uh, so it's included. It's going to take you over the main area in Juneau, and it's really convenient. It's right here. Right now we are on the shuttle. So there's a shuttle that takes us from our dock. We parked a little bit further from the main area. Our excursion was not booked through Disney, so we have to go over the main area to meet up with our people to do the dog sledding. Um, with the shuttle, it comes about every 10 minutes, and it's a five minute ride over the main area. We are just getting ready to head on our excursion, so it's gonna include a helicopter ride and dog sledding. With this excursion, they only allow you to bring like a GoPro with you and cell phones. So with that, our audio for this part may not be quite as good, but we're still really excited to share it all. We booked this tour with Coastal Helicopters. This was done again outside of Disney. The reason we did this is because we wanted to make sure we did this excursion because it was one of the things we wanted to do the most in Alaska. So we booked it even before four excursions open with Disney. When we got there, they picked us up, put us in a van, and then we watched a safety briefing. They do have some equipment if you want, for example, covers to go over your shoes so they don't get too wet. But it was a absolutely beautiful day. So it was probably about 75 uh, on the mainland. And even up on the glacier, they said it would still be pretty warm, but we still had jackets and stuff just in case. The helicopter ride was beautiful. The helicopter is going to see four adults in the back. So Jeff and I were in the back seat along with the other couple that we are with. And then there was two people up front. Up front, it was one adult and then a, a small child. So it, depending on the numbers and weight distribution, it might just be one adult up front as well. We made our way, it was probably about a 15 minute ride. And eventually we got up towards the glacier. The glacier is going to be the Herbert Glacier up here in Juneau and the dog sled camp is completely up here so it was really fun kind of seeing the whole camp as we flew in and we are so excited to go do the dog sled ride. We just made it on the helicopter up to the glacier. So they have, I think they said like 235 dogs up here. The ones we're about to go ride with, uh, this is the first ride they've done this morning. So they are very excited. How's it going? It's fun. <laughs> 
we just did our dog sled and it was really fun. So we're with another couple, so there's four of us. They let us kind of change our spots. And so we all got to ride in all the different seats. Uh, the guide, um, the musher, who is uh, with all the dogs, he actually is owns the dogs, brought them up here from Utah, told us a ton of information about them, got to give them lots of pets. And it was just really, really fun. It's a beautiful day. We're now up here um, just hanging out, learning some more information about the dogs. Um, they actually helicopter everything up here um, to do this and then when the season is over they have to helicopter everything back down which is crazy but um, yeah so this has been amazing so far we're gonna wait for a helicopter and then take that back down to Juno. All right, we just got done with the dog sled tour and it was a ton of fun. Uh, the views were amazing from the helicopter. It's probably like a 15 minute ride there. We spent maybe an hour on the glacier. We got to meet uh, all the different dogs. There's over 200 of them. We got to go out on a, I guess a dog sled ride and we had different seats. So we kept stopping, getting to change seats to experience it in different ways. And then it was cool because the ride back in the helicopter was actually a different route. So we got to see more views. Overall, it was a really awesome time. We just got dropped off from our tour and the guide had recommended the um, grind coffee place for if we want coffee. So we got the big gulp. So it is a ginormous iced coffee. But I'll give it a try. Let's see. Ooh, that's really good. Our helicopter tour took about three hours. So it, right now it's about noon, which leaves us plenty of time to be able to check out Juno. Not too far from where the tour drops us off and near the ship, there's a street which has a bunch of different stores. So their stores are gonna have everything from various art pieces to more of your traditional souvenirs. And there's also going to be some shops which sell food items such as like saltwater taffies and chocolates. So there's a lot to kind of explore in this area. We made our way down to the end of the street and found this space which has a bunch of food stands which we're looking forward to checking out. And then also just for the weather, again, it is absolutely beautiful. So it's about 75, which is amazing for Alaska weather. We were just walking around Juno and we're a bit hungry. So we found this little area with like food stands. So Jeff got some fish tacos and I went with a barbecue chicken crepe. barbecue chicken crepes so I'll take a bite it is massive <laughs> we'll see how it is it's really good do you want to share some with kids getting some ice cream okay I just got my ice cream <laughs> give it a try let's see mm. it's really good so it's mild flavor it tastes a little bit like like Evergreen, I guess, Christmas trees, but it's really good. We just got into the bar and the drink that they're known for is called a duck fart. So it's going to be a shot style drink. It's going to have Bailey's, Kahlua, and Crown. <laughs> it's actually not bad. So you're supposed to say um, quack quack and then you drink the duck fart all in one shot. Uh, but. It's actually pretty good, so when in Alaska. <laughs> we just finished up at the Red Dog Saloon and it was really fun. The theming in there is awesome. It's definitely a like tourist place, but I had a really good time at it. If you're there, you pretty much have to get the duck fart. Um, and it was good, so I'm really, really glad we did that. Now we're gonna just make our way back to the ship.
We just made it back on the ship and we had an amazing day in Juno. So the tour was so good. The dog sledding was really fun. I loved all the views from the helicopter ride. So if you're here and you're looking for a tour or an excursion, we would definitely recommend it. Um, after that, it was really fun walking around exploring Juno. So um, there's a ton of like shops right there. The food was really good and the bar was really a really fun time. So um, overall though, we had an amazing day. We got some beautiful weather, which we're really lucky to get. Um, they did say that it like rains a fair amount here. So the sun and the clear skies was awesome. Uh, one thing I did want to say is like getting back on the ship is really easy. You just had to bring your key of the world card, so like your room key and a license, show that to get back on. But tonight we're gonna um, go kind of explore the ship, have some fun, have dinner later tonight. So still a lot more fun to be had, but it's been an amazing day. We are just in Cove Bar, so this is going to be the adults only area. Uh, I just got a latte, so it's going to be a salted caramel coconut latte. Sorry, I just had to look to remember what it was I ordered. Um, I have had it here before and it is delicious and they were able to put a little Mickey head on top of it, so this is going to be perfect. Thank you. Hello, Daisy. Yes, you are. I mean, she's looking fabulous as always. I, Daisy just always has the best style. Easily. Uh, yeah, and you're nice and warm. That was pretty nice out. Did you go up to the glacier at all? Yeah? You went up and explored? Oh, so beautiful up there. Yeah. Have you ever done any dog sledding? Yeah? With Pluto. Oh. Was it wasn't quite fast yeah. then? Yeah, yeah, I could see that being a bit crazy. Yes. <laughs> We are now going to make our way over to towel folding. So I love that the cast members leave um, towel animals for us every night in our room. So I'm looking forward to learning how to make a couple. Here is an example of some of the towel animals that we have had left for us by our cast member each night of the cruise. And they are so cute. I cannot wait to learn how to make these. The event's going to be in D Lounge. And when we walked into D Lounge, they also had all these other towel animals. So I'm really excited. How's everyone doing today? <laughs> wow, excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so if you see your small towel like this, take the. All right. All right we so were using the floor, but we got our dinosaurs. I think they look ready pretty to good. The next one? No. 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 Okay, let's go to the next joke. How'd you do that? The elephant's elephant. really good. I like and the elephant probably seconds. the best so far. Alrighty, so thank you so much guys for coming in. Yeah, it was Enjoy fun. This was a lot of fun. So was the uh, napkin folding. They're both really fun. We are just in the lobby, and here's just an idea of like the crowd. So you have uh, Pluto down there meeting guests, and then over here, there's really not any of a wait for Donald. Hi, Donald. How are you? We have to say that Donald, you're always our number one. So yes, especially in that outfit. That outfit is wonderful. Oh, very handsome. Think that you might be the leader of the club. Yes. <laughs> Donald Duck. <laughs> Definitely. Before dinner, we wanted to grab drinks, so we stopped down into the Crown and Finn. This is going to be one of the bar and lounges here on the ship, and it's going to have a British theme, so lots of different nods to British sports teams, and there are a couple hidden Disney details in here as well. We really enjoy that it also has the portholes where you can look out on the ocean and kind of enjoy the views. The main reason we're here though is I want to try the gin tea tonic. It comes in this really cute tea kettle. It's a cold drink and it's served over a tea bag and it is absolutely delicious. All right, it is time for dinner here. We are heading back to Tiana's. I believe it's a Mardi Gras inspired menu, so pretty excited to check that out. And we're going to head in there, get a bite to eat, and I'm not sure what we're going to do after. It is kind of late. We're tired from a long day in Juneau, but 
We're ready to go check out dinner and see what happens afterwards. Have some beads for us, so it's Mardi Gras today or tonight, I should say, at dinner. I am very hungry, so I am looking forward to this meal. Sure. To start, Jeff got a seafood soup, and then I actually got an entree because I wanted two of the entrees, and none of the appetizers were really like that interesting for me. So I got a butternut squash with rice. Everything with dinner was really good. We had an amazing day. It was just so fun. That tour was amazing. And now we are gonna go head to bed, get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow we're in Ketchikan and we have an ATV tour. We are really looking forward to that. Thank you all so much for following along with us. We can't wait to take you on our next adventure.